Now, when I did the worst ranked restaurant in the city of Florence, I really didn't know what to expect and I wasn't expecting it to be a fast food place. Once I saw that, I wasn't really surprised for a couple of reasons, but the point is I was really looking more for a dining restaurant. So I went back as promised, we're redoing it. The lowest ranked full service restaurant, dining restaurant, well, you can dine in a fast food place too, but you know what I'm saying, is actually Ruby Tuesdays on Pampico Highway, which I'm sitting right outside of right now. So I'm doing this in the car. Obviously it's raining, as you can see. And I did that because I wanted to give them a fair shake. So this could not be any fresher. I literally just got it and now I'm sitting over here. It's six o'clock on a Thursday night. And you know what, when I pulled up, as you can see, there was nobody here. And with no further ado, let's dive into this. My first restaurant job was uh, CC's Pizza. I worked at CC's and I worked at Olive Garden as a dishwasher. My first serving job was Ruby Tuesdays. And I did work at every Ruby Tuesday in Florence, uh, just kind of moving around for different reasons. I don't even remember. And you know what? I don't recall it being that bad. I had three different managers. I recall them seeming, for my knowledge, to know what they were doing and doing a good job. So I'm completely clean slate. I never had a problem with the food when I worked there, but who knows? You know, I was a lot younger. Maybe I was naive. I don't know. Let's find out. So I said all that to say, I got items that I saw in the menu that I remembered from back then. And my thought was, well, if they stuck around this long, they must be good. This must be some of their best stuff. So here's what I got. I got an appetizer trio, potato skins, boneless chicken, the mozzarella sticks. Another appetizer, which was a stuffed ribeye quesadilla. And then I got the two items that I remember from the menu back then that were real popular then. I didn't usually get these back then, so I actually, it's been my first time trying both of these, I think. New Orleans seafood and the Cajun chicken pasta, because both of those were really popular items. So let's start off with this appetizer. Let's jump right in. Worst rated restaurant in Florence on Yelp is Ruby Tuesday on Pepco Highway and Freedom Boulevard. And let's start off with these mozzarella sticks. Mmm. Let me tell you this too. The ticket time was 17 minutes, 30 seconds. Now a target ticket time in a restaurant is 20 minutes. And I learned that at Ruby Tuesday on 52 way back when. And you know what? They beat that by two and a half minutes. All right, let's make our way through this. So first of all, this is fresh. These are fine. I'm not really digging this uh, mozzarella too much though. I mean, I'm sorry, this marinara. It tastes like watered down ketchup with a splash of chemicals, but that's not their fault. I don't necessarily think, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe they should find a different marinara. The cheese stick's fine. Let's check out this chicken. So they're calling these boneless wings, but it's really just a giant chicken nugget. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, they're off to a good start. Good ticket time. Now, granted, the restaurant's empty. I mean, it should have been a good ticket time, but this is super fresh and hot. No complaints about this. This is what you would expect to get. Not bad. And I'm okay with this honey mustard, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I paid $67 for all of this. No sour cream with the potato skin. That's a disappointment. Hey, not bad. Listen, you got to understand, we've discussed this many times on the channel. I know I'm at a franchise restaurant, so I've already put my expectations on a, a chain restaurant scale, right? And so with that being said, chain restaurant expectations, not to mention the lowest rated restaurant, not even chain restaurant or just chain restaurant in Florence, Hey, they're off to a good start. They're off to a good start. I am pleased and satisfied with this appetizer trio. No complaints about that. All of these boxes are super hot. Yeah, and they did get my silverware. And what is this? What is this? Oh, the breadstick. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay. So silverware is in the bag. That's good. All right, this is the stuffed ribeye quesadilla oh and there's the sour cream okay well i could have all right okay hey 
Let's try this without anything first. I'm gonna tell you I have very low expectations for this. Yeah. Let's try it with a jalapeno and the sour cream. Okay. Um, it's bland. Now I think that I didn't read through the ratings. So you see them on your screen, and I didn't. I'm guilty. I, I didn't read them. If I had to guess, because I, I see this so much, you know, we all do. I'm guessing it was service related, quality of the food and all that. I doubt that a lot of the ratings were actually on how the food was. So when I say bland, it's a chain restaurant. It's Ruby Tuesday. I don't, I don't, I don't hold that against them personally. What I'm looking for is the execution on it. And this is fine. I don't know if you can see it, but the cheese, that cheese has got a nice, yeah, there it is. Mm-hmm. Nice crisp on that cheese on the, probably off the flat top. It's cheesy. Um, I'll give it one more bite. I would say that uh, it's nothing they did wrong. I'm not going to hold that against them. It's just bland. Not really any flavor. That Like the steak is not seasoned at all. Not at all. Not one bit. Now this joker's seasoned. I can look at it and tell that. Wow. I'm actually excited about this because after all that time of being in Ruby Tuesday... I never, I never got this. I mean, I, I served many New Orleans seafood plates at the request of many diners, and I never got it. Not a big shrimp eater, but let's get that shrimp. Look at the, mm hmm yeah, there's no lack of seasoning on that. Rice. Zucchini. I mean, it's probably a lot of cooking oil, but you know what? And then that fish, they made up for that ribeye that was unseasoned with this. Mm hmm. You know what? The cheese sauce. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I see why this is so popular. And uh, um, the rice. The rice is really good. It's a little salty. It's a little salty. But after what I just went through with the quesadilla, it's kind of a welcome experience. Not bad. Okay. Am I surprised? I don't even know. When I pulled up and saw nobody here at six o'clock on the dot on a Thursday evening, peak time for dinner, I thought to myself, that's not good. But then I also thought, well, there is a real possibility that we might get, uh, we might get their best. And I think we did. I will say, I think this is probably their best. And think about what I'm saying in that. This is all really hot and fresh. Cajun chicken pasta. Another item that I sold a lot of, I probably sold more of those than anything to tables or, you know, that server talk. Ruby Tuesday sold them. I just took the order, but you get it. And uh, Cajun chicken pasta definitely was one. No lack of seasoning on that Cajun chicken. Let's see what we got here. So it's like an Alfredo type chicken pasta. Cajun style. Get the breadstick. Looking like Olive Garden. Feeling like wood. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be crispy, but it kind of works.
not as good as an Olive Garden breadstick. But not bad. You know what, guys? I already know. Because I know what a lot of people are looking for. And maybe you, maybe not. You were looking for me to blast this. Oh, man. When you saw the, uh, the title and the thumbnail. But I got to be honest. I think I probably got their best performance tonight. And that's all you could ask for. This is what we say. Execution can carry. Out of all the restaurants in town, I probably wouldn't pick Ruby Tuesday to go to. But after this, I might say, hey, I want that again. Uh, this is... This is not bad. With chain restaurant expectations being set, if you took me, you said, hey, we're going out to eat, and we want you to join us, we're going to Ruby Tuesday on Papago Highway, I would not be disappointed with this. Everything is cooked as well as you could ask. I'm not here to bash or blast anybody. I'm just here to tell you the truth as I see it. And I was fully prepared to just give you a play-by-play -play of my experience with this. And if they did bad, and they lived up to the negative reviews, then we would just talk about it. They honestly knocked us out the park. <laughs> it's like they knew I was coming and we were going to do this, but they didn't. They probably don't even know who I am. If they did, they didn't act like it. Wow. Wow. All right. My goal here was just to try everything to keep this short. Let's see if the lowest rated restaurant in Florence was really that bad. And you know what? Much better performance than Wendy's. Aside from the steak quesadilla, I would not be disappointed to eat anything I just had. So you know what, Ruby Tuesday on Pampico Highway, you uh, did well. You did well. These, I can already tell you, are not going to do well. I'm going to try these real quick. Oreo Coca-Cola. It's like, man, what are we doing? What are we doing to ourselves in America? It's red. It smells like Coca-Cola. Jeez. Wow. Wow. It smells like Coca-Cola with cream. Yeah, go figure. Red and either black or brown. I don't know. Um, I was going to get the drink, too, to see if the drink tastes like Oreos and if the Oreos tasted like the drink like coca-cola but uh I, we're doing enough here so coca-cola oreo hmm. oh they got the pop rocks in them too Oh, because it's supposed to mimic the carbonation, I guess. Okay. You know, I would say we need to stop what we're doing. I just think that sometimes somebody has to step in and say, hey, that's, we don't need to do that. That's too much. Coca-Cola and Oreos is just asking for trouble. Does it taste like Coca-Cola? Sort of. Yeah, I could pick up on it. Um, would I eat any more of these? No, I would not. But I know somebody who will, and he'll be happy to have them. All right, well, look, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I didn't plan to do this this evening. I had some work things come up that shifted my day around tomorrow. So I said, well, I want to go ahead and get it out, get this one done this week so we can move on to next week. And we got it done. And you know what? Ruby Tuesday, you did not disappoint. Would I say that I'm surprised? Not really. Honestly, this is what you're supposed to do. I think that for these franchise restaurants, particularly, it's really laid out for you. So if you could just execute and then look, the recipes, that's not on them. They didn't develop the recipe. That's on Ruby Tuesday Corporate. The Cajun chicken pasta was good. I'm going to go eat the rest of it tonight. The New Orleans seafood, don't have a problem with it. Really salty. But after eating this bland quesadilla... It kind of worked. And this is all fried stuff and, you know, 
the potato skins, but they it's really good though. They did good. I don't like the marinara, but other than that, they did a good job. So, what I would tell you is sometimes you just gotta go see for yourself. You can't just go off of the reviews. The reviews for Ruby Tuesday on Pepco Highway are pretty bad. And I don't think that they, at least for me, on this evening, have told an accurate story. So shout out to everybody in Ruby Tuesday tonight. Appreciate y'all. And uh, you know what? I appreciate y'all. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps us out a lot. Really appreciate it. And hopefully we can continue to unlock exactly what Florence and our surrounding areas have to offer in terms of cuisine, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And with that being said, in the meantime, y'all take care, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.